Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your February 2018 uh, reading. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will just see whatever comes up for you. I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards first. I think that's it. Boy, that's quick, huh? It is what it is, right? Ah. Six Chakra. Archangel Metatron. This is about your third eye. Okay? It's about using your sixth sense. Being open to the possibilities of what you're seeing, what you're receiving. Stepping into a new reality, perhaps. Ooh, triumph. Victory. This right here is forward movement. You're headed in the right direction. Congratulations. It's mental strength. And these two cards, they really go together quite well. Okay? You're, there's, there's no... Uh, no confusion here. You guys are headed in the right direction. You have these clear thoughts going on. Your intuition, your mind, your, your subconscious, your conscious, they're all working in unison. Okay? You guys are absolutely headed towards a victory in some way this February. It, is, it, should be, it looks to be like it's going to be a very successful month for you with those two cards, all right? You could be thinking about traveling, whether you're traveling um, spiritually, you know, there could be some spiritual travel, all right? Um, or you could be, you know, traveling on the earthly plane. It all depends on where you are on your spiritual journey. You know, there could definitely be some travel this month. Um, I feel like you guys are really replacing fear with faith and you are headed in the right direction and you are headed in, you're like, your foot is on the gas, okay? It's like pedal to the metal. You're headed in the right direction. I will zoom this camera in once we have the cards laid out. What do you have for Aries? for February. Oh, you see, the thing is, is you need to stop resisting. All right? This card is telling me that you guys are resisting something. Um, there could be an obsession. Um, you know, you could be very, feeling very frivolous or frugal with your finances, with your money, holding on to things that you don't need to hold on to. This is a very materialistic energy. <laughs> you know, this is telling me that you need to take a risk. You know, you may be called to spend your money impulsively. And this is saying, you know, you might want to consider it. It feels like you're you're holding on to financial aspects, something about money. You're holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to. It's like you you're think you don't have enough, but you do. This is telling you to go out and enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. Just enjoy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are I you know, I think that you may need to get out there and have some fun, but to do that you're gonna have to spend some money and I think that some of somebody that's watching this is very uh worried about their finances when they really don't need to be. Um <laughs> I feel like you're being guided to do something for yourself this month. You know, you're being guided perhaps to buy yourself something. I don't know. And you're just like, no, I can't do it. I have to save my money. I have to save my money. But I think that you are being guided to do something really, really nice for yourself. All right? Something for you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of wisdom here. And that's why you're saving your money. It's like you are just wanting to save for that rainy day or for anything that might happen you know you want to be able to have the money for that but it, it feels like I feel like you need to 
stop investing in something, it, you know, use your money in a different direction. That's what I see. I don't know why it's starting out like this. Perhaps because, you know, Aries is a very materialistic sign. And it is. You could find that in any astrological astrology book, you know, regarding Aries. They're very materialistic. And I see that. But I see that you're being called to, to really just let loose a little bit. Let loose. Feel free to enjoy yourself at this time. You know, it feels like if somebody isn't really realizing what they have that's watching this, somebody isn't realizing that you can, you only live once, tomorrow isn't promised. Okay, tomorrow is not promised. So what do you, I mean, I can't, I'm not, I'm not telling you to go spend your, your life savings. But it feels like you are missing out on something by worrying about your money, by worrying about your bank account. You're missing out on something. Maybe you're being called to go on a vacation, to take a vacation, but you don't want to because you're worried about how much money you're going to spend. I see that you only live once and that you should really open up and think about having a little bit of fun, thinking about rewarding yourself. It feels like you may be feeling down, you know, it is winter, so you may be, what's that thing called, you know, where, oh God, I cannot think about it, think of it, that winter brings, you know, it's a feeling that winter brings, um, anyway, it's, you need to really, I think you need to get out, you need to get in the sun, you need to go have some fun, you need to spend some money and go on vacation, <laughs> interesting, huh? Yeah, you do need to have fun. It's like, oh, I wish I could think of that. It's like the winter, the winter blues or something like that. But there's a, there is a phrase for it. So if you guys can think of it. Uh, cabin fever. Cabin fever. That's what I see. It's like there's cabin fever here. And now it's you really need to, it's not about the money that you have in the bank. Go out and have some fun. Go out and get some sun. Spend a little time. Spend a little money on yourself. It will really uh, lighten up your mood. Okay? It will make you feel better. It will bring you back some health. You know? Uh, that's what I see. It feels like it, you really need to get out and have some fun. Instead of being worried about your status or being worried about your job or being worried about... Um, being in control, I see that you need to let your guard down, Aries. You need to let your guard down and you need to get out. You need to go do something. You need to do something for yourself. I mean, this is a pretty strong message for February. It's like you may be feeling like you have to live up to somebody's expectations, but you need to really live up to your own because tomorrow isn't promised. Spend the money. Because right now you need to go, you need to heal. There's, your health is, your health is like not at its best because you need to go do something for yourself. You need to get some sun. You need to um, overindulge. Okay, that's what I see. It's like overindulgence is needed, and I know that's hard to fathom. You know, you're probably thinking, oh my God, I can't spend my money. But that's the problem here. You can't spend your money and it's it's affecting your health because you are being called to go out and do something for yourself. That's what I see. It's like, it's time to just let loose and be able to let yourself heal, you know, and when you go out and you spend a little bit of your money or a lot of your money or whatever, once you get, when once it's over, it's over and it will come back. It will. I, f I feel like right now there's, there's ill health and things are out of balance and you need to take a vacation. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from. 
but a vacation is absolutely needed because I feel like if you don't, you're going to have like a midlife crisis or a mental breakdown. It's time to take a break. I think there's been a lot of demands on you. And now you need to take this mental break so that you don't fall apart, okay? Because if you don't take this mental break, you definitely have the opportunity to crash, to fall apart, okay? So you really need to stop resisting. I feel like many of you are ready to go on this vacation. You're ready to do something good for yourself. Maybe it's even a spa day. I don't know. But I feel like you need to take some time to just let loose, let go, stop worrying, become free for a little while, no demands. Yeah, that might cost some money, but it's just money. You can't take it with you when you die. I'm going to zoom this in, then we're going to keep going. You know, I like to keep these cards in the, in the picture, so we're going to try to do that here. Sorry about moving things around, but I think it's really important to keep those in there. Unfortunately, I have to keep my nameplate in there because if I don't, somebody will think my video is theirs and it's not. So we're going to move on. All right, so right off the bat, I see that a vacation is needed. It may be being planned and you may be worried about the finances, but I'm here to tell you, don't be worried about it. If you got it, spend it because you can't take it with you. And you need this. You really, really need it. You need this renewal. You need to heal. You need to just do it. Just do it. Just do it. What else do you have for Aries for the month of February? Anything for love? Oh, you're about to start a new chapter. Travel is on the horizon as well. We have another travel card. We absolutely have some travel here, okay? So travel is needed, okay? But we're going to try to change the subject. We're going to try, but whatever's meant to come up is going to come up. I can't control that. I see that a completion is on the horizon and that you've learned something big. And I think it has to do with your money. It has to do with your finances. It has to do with what you need, what you don't need. That's what it is. I see there's like an awakening here, a spiritual awakening. And I think you're starting to change your ways in some arena of your life. It's like you are have been successful and now you are starting on a new life lesson. You're starting a new chapter, a new phase of your life. Because, you know, I feel like there's been a lack of happiness wherever you've been. It's like this, this stuff has not made me happy. This stuff has not made me happy. And so now you need to get creative. You need to bring your passion back. It's time to relight the fire within you. And you have to give to yourself, whereas you haven't been. It's like you haven't been giving anything to yourself. And the time is now. Okay, it's time to be generous with yourself. It feels like you guys have been rejecting this vacation or this spa day or whatever it is that you've been wanting but not doing because you because of finances. But you but the thing is is I feel like you have the funds. I do. I feel like you have the funds, but you're saving it for something else. And I feel like this is really, really needed. I think a, a day or days off is absolutely the best medicine. You know, because you will make the money back. It's not like you'll never get the money again. It's the money will come right back to you because of your hard work and dedication. There's really nothing to worry about. I feel like, you know, you have this wisdom. You have this... 
um, these leadership skills and the ability to save the money. You have this, this ability. So I don't see what you're worried about. I don't. You know, I don't know why this is all materialistically related and vacation related, but it is what it is. If love doesn't come up, it's because love isn't on the forefront or in the um, it's not the first uh, bullet on your list, put it that way. It means that you really need to do this to get to the place where love can come in. You know, and that's what it is. It's like you, right now you need to work on you. And that's what I see. You need to work on your health. You need to work on doing something for yourself. I mean, that's what I see. I don't see any love yet. We'll see if it comes up. I, I can't make it come up. I feel like you haven't been being very generous with yourself. And it's because of financial reasons. But I think that you have enough money to at least do something for yourself. And I feel like it's a vacation. Um, this high priestess tells this high priestess reverse tells me that you're not listening. It's reversed. You're not listening to what you need to do. You're probably not even listening to me. You're probably like, are you kidding me? I can't spend my money on this shit. I have to save it. I have to save it for if something goes wrong. But the thing is, is like I said, you only live once. You can't take it with you. You know, it feels like you're just holding in your truths. You know what you want to do, but you're not doing it. You're not taking action. You're not seeing things clearly with this reversed. When it's upright, you're seeing situations clearly. But it's when it's reversed, you're not. You're not seeing situations clearly regarding your finances. I feel like you have enough, but you think you need to have more. You think you have to plan. For, and, you know, <coughs> you guys can think I'm crazy if you want. I'm giving you the messages that you need to hear. For optimal health. You have to take care of yourself. Have no fear. This is the have no fear. Take action. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. That's what this Knight of Swords does. This Knight of Swords puts themselves first. In every situation. And this card has come out to tell you to have no fear. Put yourself first. You have the ability to get the money right back. Trust me. It's time to accept the truth in this situation. It's like you, you are being given this opportunity to be honest, to do something for yourself. Whether you take it or not, it's up to you. The truth is, I think you're stable and secure. All right? Uh, the truth is, I think you're stable and secure. You have fears of spending your money. And not getting it back. Not making it back. But you will. It's all about faith, okay? It's all about faith. You have to have faith. And if as long as you work for it, it will come back. Part of, part of one of life's lessons is being able to take care of yourself and following your intuition and doing what's right for you. You have to nurture yourself. You have to love yourself. You could be dealing with somebody, a partner that has very good intentions and they want to do something, but you're, you're rejecting it because you don't want to spend the money. I feel like it is absolutely time for you to do something for yourself. And I don't know where this is coming from. You know, I think that now I see that we have memories of the past that are coming up. So perhaps this reading is going to change direction. Um... It's like there's there's these memories of the past, perhaps with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that are starting to come into play here during this reading. Perhaps they didn't fulfill your wishes. Maybe this person, um, maybe you've recently closed a door with this person 
or they didn't fulfill your wishes in the past and that's why you are feeling the way you are feeling there looks like there could be some kind of um ruthless behavior perhaps somebody treated you unkindly and made you feel like you couldn't do what you really want to do you couldn't follow your intuition you couldn't act on your hunches you couldn't move forward you couldn't spend your money somebody was trying to control you in some way and now you've got that ingrained in your head like i can't spend my money i can't spend my money something like that um or that you will never regain it back. There's lack of self-confidence here. Put it that way. There is. You're not happy about something. <coughs> what is this? A commitment? There was some kind of commitment here. That has brought you down in the past. And made you feel like you can't spend your money. Weird. Very weird. But I, I also feel like there's there could be somebody from your past that you're thinking about. Maybe you want to go visit this person. I don't know. What is this? Hmm. Your hard work pays off, so I wouldn't worry about that. This tells me that you have the skills to succeed financially. So if you're thinking you can't do something for yourself, you can't love yourself, you can't have compassion for yourself, you can't do what you want to do, you're wrong and still get the money back. I feel that you have the skills to make the money to succeed. Okay? That's what I see. I feel like you really need to give to yourself and you haven't been. And, you know, I feel like... You're thinking about a marriage. There's some kind of marriage here that's impacting your future. Maybe there's a, you're dealing with a partner who says that you can't go on vacation because you don't have enough money. I mean, that could be the case. could be vice versa as well. Maybe your partner wants to go on vacation, but you think you don't have enough money. Or you've got to go to work. I have to work. I can't go. I can't go. I have to work. Something like that. This is work-related as well. But it's not fulfilling your wishes. Somebody is involved, perhaps, in a marriage or a commitment that is unfulfilling. And they need to, they need to break away, but they don't know how to break away, probably because of financial reason, reasons. Yeah, there could be some... Somebody might want a divorce. And I don't know where this is coming to, but, you know, I have to go with what I see. You know, somebody may want a divorce. Somebody may just need to do what's right for them. You know, I feel like money is definitely a factor this month that somebody wants to do something, but they can't because they don't want to spend their money. Um, and perhaps it has to do with travel, but you're being called to do the right thing for you and follow your own path. Despite what anybody else says, you might be dealing with somebody that has really, really good intentions and they think that saving the money is the right way to go. But the fact of the matter is your health matters more. And I think if you were to get out and take a little vacation or a spa day, that your health would improve drastically. Um, I feel like there is some kind of heaviness, weight that is holding you down. And it has to do with work. And you probably need to just get away for a little while and give to yourself and despite what whoever says that you can't, you know, you need to do the right thing for you. You do. You do absolutely need to do the right thing for you. It, it really feels like you need to take the lead in this situation. Okay? You really do. You could be dealing with somebody who is very stubborn and hot-headed, or that could even be yourself. You know, I think that you're feeling, somebody could even be jealous of you, or you could be jealous of somebody else. It just feels like you're stuck in a rut. You're stuck in a rut, and you are being called to not worry about your money. You feel like you have no money. I have no money. I have no money. But I feel like you do have money. I do. 
I feel like you have some money, enough money to do something for yourself. And you are being called to do something for yourself because you haven't in a while. You haven't. You're being called to do something for yourself and you're just thinking, oh, I don't, I can't, I don't have the money. Or somebody's telling you you don't have the money and it's like, oh, I don't have the money. Oh, I can't spend my money on this. But you can't take it with you when you die. I think you, you've been through a period of loneliness. There's definitely a feeling of cabin fever. I need to get out. I need to take a break. It's break time. I feel like it's break time. I feel like many of you are going through a midlife crisis. And it is absolutely time to take a break. Don't worry about the finances. It will come back to you. Have faith, have trust, you have the skills. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> this is a choice. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. It, do you do you love yourself? Or are you worried more worried about the money? Are you more worried about materialistic things? This card is love or money. Okay, it's love or money. That's what it is. It's about a choice. Love or money. Are you worried about the things that you have or are you worried about loving yourself at this point? I really feel like it is vacation time, Aries. Take a break in February. As far as new love coming in, no, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Because right now, it's it's like you've reached the point of crisis. You have. It's crisis. You're in crisis mode. <laughs> Mental breakdown. It's time for a break. It's time for a vacation. It's time to do something for you. It's not about the money. That's what this month is about. Me reminding you. It's about you. It's about your health. It's about your sanity. To hell with the money this month. Do something for yourself, Aries. And it will bring some of your health back. Some of your uh, liveliness, okay? You've reached the end of the rope. You know what I mean? It's like I've reached the end of the rope. I need a break. And it is break time. Take the time that you need. Take a break. Interesting. We're going to get some advice cards with this deck. This is a, a, a month of moving forward, okay? Moving forward, um, bringing back your mental strength, okay? Replacing fear with faith. Fe replacing the fear of losing your money with faith that it will come back. Okay, this is the chariot card. It's when you replace fear with faith. You master your emotions. You move forward. You travel. This is a travel card. You travel forward with faith that everything is going to be okay, okay. And you do it very quickly. Okay? It's about having the ability to trust and have faith that everything is going to be okay. And that you will be successful. It says triumph because you will be successful no matter what you do. And to get to your best spiritual existence, you have to be healthy. You have to take care of yourself. So I really feel like this is a month of you nurturing and taking care of yourself. So that you can become 
more spiritual. Become more of a healer. But you know what I mean? So that you can heal others along with yourself. It's a month of healing. That's what I see. And that's what brings you triumph. That's what brings you victory. You need to take the time to let yourself heal. And you absolutely have to have faith. Replace fear with faith that everything will be okay financially. Remember, you cannot take anything with you when you die. Interesting. Go for it. I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's really time. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis. And we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. This says move forward. Go for it. And I'm telling you that it's vacation time. Whether you actually go somewhere on vacation or you just take a vacation from work or you have a spa day or you spend some money on yourself. I don't know what it is. You are being called to do something for yourself in a big way. Okay. This is a month of healing. Taking as long as you need to bring back your self, to go through your awakening, to let yourself ascend, to open up spiritually, to heal. This is a month of healing and it will bring you the success that you desire if you do it. Oh, fresh air. Oh, my God. Did I tell you you needed to go on vacation? I think I did. You need to get out of the house. This or this job or work, you need to take a break. It's break time, Aries. That's what I see. Interesting. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. <laughs> it's a vacation time, Aries. Do it. Just do it. Talk to you later.